Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to part two of this random sculpture I'm making. Just making something random. Um, in this video, I'm going to be putting on two sheets of clay rolled out on the thickest setting of the polymer clay pasta machine and applying them onto the sculpture and I'll also be building out the foundation of the face a little bit. I wanted to do the eyes and the mouth, but it was just a little too much for one video. Either it would be a really long video or just play too fast. Um, I'm trying to make these videos a little slower than my traditional time lapse videos because I think you can see a lot more going on than you, as opposed to the older ones. But what's going on here in this video, I, I work with sheets of clay, as you can see, and I I put them on there and I overlap them. Wherever, wherever they overlap, I just cut with my little palette knife or whatever tool it is you're going to use. And it makes it really simple. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want it to be specifically two layers thick all over the sculpture. For me, the sculpting doesn't even start until after the two sheets of clay go on. And if you notice right here, where I start my second layer, I didn't start in the same area as I did the first time. This is called staggering. It's just like laying block, you know, for building a house. You stagger your blocks. Well, staggering these sheets of clay will add structural, you know, integrity or whatever. But the purpose behind doing two sheets of clay is to ensure that it's not too thin in any one given area. I, it's just something that I do. I don't know if if it's like good or bad or whatever, but it's just I'm just sharing with you what I do. Um, once I get everything covered with two sheets of clay, that's when I can start building on to, you know, building all the little details on onto that. And right here, you'll notice that I'm adding the liquid. Uh, actually, that's Sculpey clay softener. Um, this part is completely unnecessary. I have no idea why I'm doing that. I just, I like everything silky smooth. So I just, I don't know, smoothing it out. And Well, it actually makes it a little tackier doing that. So when you add new pieces of clay like this right here, this is just a piece of clay I'm kind of forming with my two thumbs, pushing together inwards. And I'm going to put it on there, and that's basically the chin area, the jawbone, all that area of the of the face. But I put it on there, press it down real well, and then I, I make it seamless. I blend it in using pieces of clay. If you notice, I put a, a ball of clay down, and I drag it both ways, and it's really good for blending, you know, new pieces onto your your clay. But if you look already, it's starting to look like, actually that looks like a um, maybe a bird or something. Right here, I'm trying to get two equal amounts of clay by cutting a log in half. That way I can just cut both of them. And I'm putting them onto the sculpture up about where, up about where the eyes are going to be. Basically what I'm doing is I'm padding that area out, making it a little wider. So I have a foundation to build my eyes on. Otherwise, it's too small of an area and it's very rounded. I'm not going to get anything on there. Or at least I don't think it'll look like it makes sense. So this is just giving me something to work with so I can build some eyes onto. Speaking of eyes, in the next video, I'll be doing the eyes and the mouth to this sculpture. And then I'll be caught up to what I've already done and had filmed and I'll be able to move on, which I'm really excited about that. You see the little black ball? That's going to be the eye. I'm going to cut that in half, and I'm going to show you all that in the next video. If you don't mind, please like this video. It helps me a lot, and drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about my method of, you know, how I start the clay. And I will see you here again soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys.